Hello there, welcome to another episode of World of Tanks with Ingeni Titan, and we're on Proc Rafka with the Comet. Tier 7, we're top tier, and it is team destruction mode. It's mostly, half the tanks are tier 5, so there's not a lot of tier 7s, not a lot of tier 6s. Team destruction is probably, in my opinion, the most problematic uh, battle mode on uh, Proc Rafka because it's the one most likely, in my experience, to promote limbing trains. Uh, for some reason or other, I have seen a lot on team destruction mode. It's not so bad if your team decides to go up to one line in Limbing Train. That's um, quite useful and they're able to support you in the field. But if they all decide to go um, east of the railway and decide to go up across the zero line, that can be very painful because there's no, there's not a lot of tanks can deploy on the southern end, particularly on the southern end, if this on the southern end of the hill, and there's no way of forcing the zero line except the hill um, because nobody's willing to take the casualties just steam through the village in the middle so I'm coming up here poking the ridge which is what my usual thing is on um, Prokhorovka and uh, the trick with the ridge really is to highlight tanks and let the support behind you um, whittle them down not to expose yourself too much. You're not really one of taking shots at tanks in front of you. I know it can be very tempting and sometimes I do fall prey to the temptation. But I usually don't live to regret it. Um, the real thing is to expose tanks and actually the people that are shooting wide. So those tanks down there on the one line are in actually a decent enough position to shoot across the map and uh, hit tanks, um, frankly shots into tanks that are going to coming up the ridge line, they don't even have to have crested. Once they reach a certain height, they'll spot them. Now I'm being spotted as well from the hill, and I'm going to start taking fire from the hill, so I need to get out of here. Because I'm pretty much here on my own, and there's multiple tanks on the hill. So I don't want to be sitting in an open field engaging against multiple tanks. Uh, by moving west, I'm moving out of their render range, and they won't see me. Even though I'm lit up, they still won't see me. Um, the Yak Panzer IV has pushed a little too far forward. And he makes the, the mistake of reversing. Um, if he had driven, just driven forward, driven down the hill as fast as his tracks could take him, get into the low ground and then head uh, north along the low ground, he might actually survive the, uh, the encounter. Because the Yak Panzer IV is a reasonably fast tank. There really is only one enemy tank that has pushed up. Uh, and I'm going to push into the bowl. There's a KV-2 at the other side, but actually he's very vulnerable because he's up on the railway line, so he can get shot from across the map. The bowl is a really dominant position on this kind of a setup because there is only one enemy tank forward, so he's not going to YOLO into me if he YOLOs into me. It's a straight DPM fight between me and him, and he's likely to take damage on the way in because the supporting tanks that I have are actually been pretty good. They're... Um, they're effectively putting fire into everything that I'm spotting pretty much as soon as I'm spotting it. So I have a, quite a collection of um, damaging ribbons already. Uh, assisted damage ribbons built up just from uh, poking around the edge of the ridge line here. The Nash Horn has probably gotten away with it because he's just took so far into the corner that I'm the only one in a position to shoot at him. And I'm whittling away his, his health there uh, completely. The Panther isn't interfering with me at the moment, and uh, that medium tank is pushing forward fairly aggressively, so uh, I have the support. We've gotten rid of the Nash Horn. So the Panther is now the only visible tank that I can really see. I suppose the KV-2 is pushing up in the corner as well, but again, he's exposed, and he can be he's vulnerable to fire from... Or it's the M4, actually, so the KV-2 is probably gone. The M4, it says... Um, the other side of the railway is here. Panther is pulled back. I am being spotted, so there's still probably tanks to the north of me. So I'm going to push over the ridge line and see if I can spot the tanks to the north of me. So we've revealed Upper Stoke 3 and uh, a GR1, or a G1R, sorry. And I'm going to keep driving because I'm going to go over the railway line, or over the railway, uh, to get down so that I only really have to deal with the G1R. If I'd stayed in the other side of the roadway, I'd be dealing with three tanks, whereas now I'm only dealing with one. And I still have support. Uh, I'm picking up supporting fire. And I should be able to 
where even a one on one battle with G1R. I'm two tiers up, I should be able to deal with them easily enough. And in the time it took to deal with that tank, the enemy um, have collapsed completely, and there's only one tank remaining, which is the Panther that was in the centre of the field. And he's, he's the one remaining because uh, that's the one area where we hadn't had any tanks deployed on our side, so he's the guy's coming in on the sides. His position is now hopeless. It doesn't really matter, it's just a question of who gets uh, how many uh, points of damage at this point and who gets the kill shot. So I've taken a chunk out of him and before I get the reload in, he's finished off. So it's game over, we got uh, spotted 9 tanks, 19 assisted damage, plus 2 uh, tracking damage and 9 uh, direct damage ribbons, which is pretty good going. Um, to see what the final result is. So 21,000 silver, uh, the 5,000 experience, I wouldn't think you know, there's probably experience multipliers in there, but we got a first class uh, mastery. Um, over 1100 damage, 2224 assisted damage, and uh, yeah, I've managed to get the combat up to around 89% um, on the mark, what is it, mark of excellence uh, damage standing, so that uh, I'm not far away from three marking it. Well, obviously, the final push should be a bit much harder. I also picked up a scout medal and a patrol duty, which I always feel very happy to get. It feels like I really contributed to the team. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like and please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all again soon. Bye for now.